Christmas tree with a star. <laughs> <laughs> That's the phrase that always comes to mind whenever I think of Carl. We would gossip on the phone and laugh about life, and then we would think of something positive and always chime in together. Christmas tree with a star. <laughs> 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 and the sketch was men on film. Carlton and I love to borrow from these two black mediums, and I, I suppose we thought it was doubly funny as we were two white southern boys trying to imitate. <laughs> <laughs> but I always look for a forward to my phone check with Carlton. We always cover topics from the sublime to the ridiculous, and everything in between. We would gossip about all our friends. <laughs> we just having the guts to laugh at our own foibles. But what, what's really nice is this. Carlton always managed to update me on his school activities. It was clear that he loved teaching and that he deeply cared for his students. But of course, I did have to hear about the prize students as well as the problems. But it was most obvious that Carlton's vocation as a teacher was one of the things that defined him as a most remarkable human being. He would go on about the many school trips the kids took to the Poconos. And speaking of the Poconos, two summers ago, he was out there visiting Harry and David. Uh, and uh, he gladly accepted the challenge of going with me to Sears to pick out my new stove and refrigerator. <laughs> Carlton loved to shop. <laughs> And of course, when he helped me select my new stainless steel appliances, upon choosing them, we looked at each other, Christmas tree in the sky. These <laughs> were the chosen appliances. My image won't change a bit. That smiling, angelic face, looking through those cynical eyes, camouflaging that wicked sense of humor. I will miss those phone calls, the jokes, laughing, and always talking about school and the students. Planning, planning when to have our next margarita. <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll miss those phone calls, but I'll cherish the many that we had. Here's to you, Carlton. You are Christmas tree with a star. <laughs> <laughs> wrote a song that was in a musical called American Beauty that Carlton first saw before he knew Michael Rice in Richmond, Virginia many years ago. And then when he moved to New York and he met Michael and found that Michael was the composer of this musical that he loved, he uh, always requested this song. So I'm going to sing it for you now. Since that 
that summer night I've kept the moment shining bright At least within my memory A part of me still looks for fireflies And that's the part that makes me smile The part in me that's still the child The part that looks for shooting stars The part that always cries But for every tear Say my dreams are coming true. And now when things don't look so bright, I simply look back on that single summer night. Strange as it seems, tomorrow's dreams come from simple things like watching fireflies